quote for the day, brothers and sisters. Today I was reading in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy chapter 26, where in verses 6 to 10, we read of the account of the people of God crying out to the Lord in their time of distress and need when the Egyptians held them in bondage. God heard their cry and would deliver them to a land full of milk and honey. Today I wanted to speak about how we too are to cry out to God in our time of need. In the book of Judges, Judges chapter 3, verse 9, we read of the people of God there crying out for a king or a leader. 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 9 tells us that the prophet Samuel cried out to the Lord in intercessory prayer for the people of God. All this is leading to the ultimate intercessor and king, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Many men like David in Psalm 34, verse 6, we are told, cried out to the Lord in their time of need, the desperate time of our, and cried out to God and were heard by the Lord. Even our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, we are told in John chapter 11, verse 35, the shortest verse in the Bible, when he was at the tomb of his friend Lazarus, it said that Jesus wept. When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, in Luke chapter 22, when he cried out to God in so much pain and anguish, so much anguish that in verse 44 it said that he was crying out drops of blood from his body my friends we too have to learn to cry out to the lord in our time of need psalm 107 verses 6 and verse 19 you can read where it speaks of how the people of god back then cried out to god in their time of need the bible says so much about how we ought to go to the lord when we are in trouble and trials and crisis oftentimes in life and i know myself i share this with you brothers and sisters as a christian as a follower of christ a lot of times when i'm in trouble or need i'll run to the pleasures of this world maybe food uh the television to entertain me or even go to brothers and sisters maybe on facebook or in the church to, for prayer and that's important going to others to pray for us intercessory prayer Helping each other is very important, but the first person we need to go to, the first place we need to go to is the throne room of God's grace. We need to go to the Lord. When Jesus Christ walked this earth, oftentimes in his public ministry, some 2,000 years ago, those who came to him were those that were hurting the most. Whether it was women caught in the act of adultery, whether it was lepers, whether it was a woman with an issue of blood or uh, a father who lost a child. Those that were in desperate need, dire straits, they went right to God. They went to Jesus Christ. Psalm 34 verse 18 tells us that God is close to those who are of a broken heart and a contrite spirit. Often in life I've seen, I've drawn closer to God in my life when times are very, very difficult. You see, when things are going good in life, we become very complacent. King David was a man after God's own heart, as we read in 1 Samuel chapter 13, verse 14. But when he became king, he became very complacent. He was very comfortable. He was powerful. And we're told in 2 Samuel chapter 11, the account of his relationship with a woman by the name of Bathsheba, he was supposed to be at war with his fellow were his fellow soldiers and instead of being with them he was complacent lazy hanging around at the house his temple and he saw that beautiful young lady it took her and we know the rest of that story and the tragedy that followed you see an idle mind is satan's playground it's an old saying a complacent comfortable life will cause us to get spiritually fat and dull and lazy it is when we're going through the fiery furnace. It's when we're going through very difficult times that God is closest to us. So I hope today, my brothers and sisters, we will all learn that as the people of God back here in the book of Deuteronomy cried out to God, the children of God, when they were in bondage to Egypt, God delivered them. We know that we are close to God, to the heart of God, when we are going through the most difficult times in our life. I have two daughters, they're getting older. But I find as they're getting older, that the times that they need me or they're closest to me or my wife as their mother is when they're going through a difficult or some kind of situation in their life that is causing them some kind of distress. 
Let us learn to run to the Lord today, my brothers and sisters. I don't know what you're going through. I'm sure there's something that is troubling you that's between you and God. Go to the Lord. He is a clear and present help in time of trouble. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I thank you for all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ today who will see this devotional video. Forgive me, Lord God, when I haven't come to you as I should in my time of need. Lord God, even for all my brothers and sisters in Christ who will see this devotional video, help them to cry out to you with a broken, contrite heart. When they're in trouble, may they come to you as a father who loves them. May, you come, may they come to you as a father who cares for them and their needs like no one else will. In Jesus' name I pray. Take care and God bless you all today, my friends.